What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great New Year's Eve. It is actually kind of cloudy and rainy out here uh, today to kind of end the year, I guess. It's kind of the way the years have been the last couple of years, kind of cloudy, rainy, and wet. But, you know, we survived. We survived, and hopefully come midnight, I'll still be here. Be careful out there. Um, you know, if the weather's frightful, people are drinking, having, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying. Just be careful out there, okay? But I'm sitting here because I, I'm getting kind of tired of all of the talk on the Dallas Cowboys about how bad they are and how they're disappointing and so on. And I'm kind of like, how can we be disappointed with where the team is right now. I want you to listen to something. This was Adam Rank from the NFL Network. This was their forecast for the Dallas Cowboys for this season. It, it's kind of crazy when you listen to this. Coach Mike McCarthy is on the hot seat in Dallas despite winning the NFC East last year. But what is in store for this season? Let's take a look at their schedule. It is very difficult right off the top Opening up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know something weird is going to happen in this game. When weird things happen, the Cowboys usually lose. But just when you're about to write off the Cowboys and be like, this team is done, they rally to win a game that they probably shouldn't be winning. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people will be on the Bengals in this one, but I got the Cowboys here. But then, you know, it, it's still the Cowboys. They're going to lose on the, the road Giants. Monday night football against the New York Giants. Beating the Commanders before they take on the defending Super Bowl champions, the L.A. Rams, a loss. They got the Philadelphia Eagles, a team that they have dominated over their last three contests. They have smoked the Eagles, much like JBL smoked the Blue Meanie. But the Blue Meanie's an Eagles fan. They rallied. I'm going to give them the L there. But a win over Detroit and Chicago, even though the Chicago Bears have a new head coach, the Bears have played pretty well against the Dallas Cowboys over the last couple of years. Give me a Bears victory by week. Mike McCarthy revenge game. That's an L. But he's got, he's got an, an old favorite. The Minnesota Vikings, a team he's had a lot of success against. Give me a win there. You're not going to lose two games to the Giants. Indianapolis, though, this is one of the most interesting ones. Matt Ryan is the new quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. That's a good football team. I still think the Cowboys can take them. They will take the Houston Texans as well. And you see the Jags there and you're like, well, there's an easy win. I don't think so. Doug Peterson. Oh, he got that one right. Against the Cowboys in the past. I will take them there. And then the Eagles have a win against the Philadelphia Eagles before losing to the Titans. And then a win over the Washington Commanders. Best case scenario, the Cowboys don't miss Amari Cooper at all. Win the NFC East to be the first back-to-back -back champion in years. Worst case scenario, the pressure gets to be too much. They're right around 500, which is just where I have them at nine wins for the Dallas Cowboys. So, and, and that was pretty much the consensus. Nine wins. Maybe they win the division or maybe they miss the playoffs. So if that was the expectations, you heard them, well, that they don't miss Amari Cooper too much. And not only that, we looked at it and said, well, the Cowboys didn't do anything to address their issues. You know, they had an opportunity to get Bobby Wagner, and they didn't sign him. You know, we had a guy, a uh, chance to go ahead and get Von Miller. We didn't do that. We let Randy Gregory go. You know, they said, you know, how, you're not going to get a pass rush without a Randy Gregory. You let go Lyle Collins. You let go of uh, Connor Williams. And, you know, all of a sudden your offensive line is going to be terrible. And, you know, it, it was literally – the Cowboys were a terrible team. They, it, it, When you want to say disappointing, I don't know how you can say that the Cowboys are disappointing who didn't go out and do all of these crazy moves. If you want to say a team is disappointing, it, 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 it is really disappointing, I would say it should be the Denver Broncos because the Denver Broncos were those guys that went out there and said, let's go ahead and get ourselves all of these playmakers – Right? We're going to go out and get a quarterback. And Russell Wilson, we've got good receivers. We got a great defense. We add Randy Gregory. You know, we now have the best conference in football here. And let's ride. That's disappointing. Or you can look around and say, 
the Cardinals, having come off the playoffs and paying Kyler Murray a boatload of money, and now we're looking at Cliff Kingsbury being fired and wondering, is Kyler Murray the guy? You want to say disappointing. How about the worst Super Bowl team defending Super Bowl team in the history of football? How about the Rams? Because they didn't stop in the offseason. They kept bringing in people left and right, spending all kinds of money. Those are teams that are disappointing. But it's funny because you don't ever hear any of those teams being disappointed. You don't hear about those guys. You hear about, oh, my God, the Cowboys. They are dis- you know, they beat the Titans, you know, but they only beat them by 14 points. Ah, this team stinks. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got three more wins than he said best case scenario with one more game to go. Now, how are we disappointing if we weren't expected to do anything? That's where I'm kind of like, seriously, people? Especially Dallas Cowboy fans. Because I'll be the first one to say, watching C.D. Lamb in training camp and thinking he's not a number one. Looking at the guys that we had and seeing Michael Gallup just working out on the bands, we said, we're in trouble at wide receiver. We, we are awful. We don't have a, a competent crew. We don't have a leader. And here it is, CeeDee Lamb is on the verge of breaking Cowboys records. How many people said that Zeke Elliott was washed, right? That Zeke Elliott is washed, right? Now, I'm not going to say that this was a fantastic season, He's got 866 yards and about four yards per carry average and 12 TDs. But the combination of him with Tony Pollard is one of the best running combinations in football. And that's with an offensive line that lost one of their best offensive linemen for most of the season and having a rookie start. So we had all this doom and gloom. We had, you know, uh, Mike McCarthy who... I believe was the odds on favor to be the first coach fired from Vegas. And that Sean Payton would be in here, that Dan Quinn would become the head coach temporarily until, you know, keeping the seat warm until Sean Payton became the coach. So if the expectations were going to the season that Mike McCarthy was going to get fired, that Dak Prescott was not a top 15 quarterback, you don't have receivers, and your offensive line is shit. How is it when the Cowboys win a game? Just the Cowboys winning a game doesn't sound like was expected. So how is it disappointing? I want to ask you fans up there, are you disappointed this year with the Dallas Cowboys that are 12-4, and four, having beaten quite a few of the teams that are going to be in the playoffs? Are you disappointed in this season? And what the Cowboys did? Hmm. Well, I got some cooking to do. We'll do our 5 o'clock live stream at uh, 5 o'clock. Um, I got to go peel some shrimp and stuff. We've got a few people coming over, but we will definitely have our live stream. And uh, I'll get that set up here now. And I'll be back down here in a bit. All right, good people. I will catch you guys later. Peace.